Hold up. This lady is about to die in our store. What? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Oh, no, no. No. Why? Why? She's dying. Look at her. This person, the Sim, has just died in our store. Hi, guys, and welcome back to The Sims 4. And this is the Accidental Time Traveler, Traveler Legacy Challenge. Even though it doesn't look like it, because this is not at our house, I did go ahead and create Ava's clothing business to get that started and it took me actually a lot longer than I had thought and I used almost all of our simoleons that we had in our household that I was saving up to actually remake the house and now I can't I mean we're gonna leave the house as it is because we have like 1616 simoleons in our funds so We'll have to wait a little while longer, but maybe Ava's business here will take off and will make a lot of simoleons and she will be able to, you know, rebuild the dream, her own dream house. So we'll see. But uh, anyways, this is what I made. Actually, I really like how it turned out. It turned out uh, better than I had thought it would. Um, I put this fancy, to me it looks kind of fancy, a sophisticated sign up for, you know, her, her, uh, of her name. But, yeah, I liked it. The outside is basically just neutral, blacks and browns and that kinds of things. And, uh, we will head on in. And when you walk in, this is what you'll see. Ava standing there. The counter here, and then these to displays with purses and stuff and I was actually surprised because I thought these stacks of clothes you could sell and you can't but I'm able to sell these purses and the shoes and sunglasses and purses I'm all able to sell but not the stacks of clothes so that's all right. even these clothing um, racks over here or whatever I'm able to sell those as well but not her you know these stacks of clothes, which is fine. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the entryway here, and basically over to this side here is we've got this decorative painting going on, and we have some more racks here with mirror, and behind them is these little dresses, which I'm not able to sell either, which is fine. It's more a decoration, which is okay. And then in here is the fancy, I'm gonna pull the walls down here for a moment, in here is the, more of the, you know, formal wear and kind of, ca not casual, formal, but business formal as well. Because this to me, this looks more formal than this or this, but it's still all just dresses that you would wear to something like a wedding or, you know, going prom, whatever, <laughs> maybe not prom, but so yeah, these are just some clothes I had put on these mannequins. And so there's four of them. You're allowed 10 of, you're allowed 10 mannequins total on the lot, on your business lot. And at first I had four ma female mannequins and four male mannequins and then two children mannequins. And then as I was making these outfits, I was like, uh, I should just do bit one, like females. And then after the business takes off, then maybe we can branch out and purchase another property and put men on that property. And you know what I mean? Like it could be something could be handed down in the family too now that um, her children will be able to work and her children's children will be able to work. So maybe it's something that will get handed down and will just kind of evolve out of this. Maybe, who knows? Um, but right now I did decide to make this all women's um, clothing store so that's how that's what this is so that's the formal and then over here is more of the casual we have this casual wear baggy kind of loose fitting jeans they're rolled up and this top I just love this earth tones like browns and tans and blacks I just I would totally wear this in real life I love that and then this is you know more dressier but yet casual and I like that as well and then you've got your more of your 
business casual, I guess. Relax casual? I don't know. Relax business, I mean not. Whatever. Yeah, you get the point. Anyway, so I have that one. And then I have this one. It's kind of fun. Um, just some shorts and a shirt, but it's still sophisticated. All of this is so sophisticated. And then back here um, behind the wall, we have our intimates. And it's just our, some lingerie. And I really just wish we had, like, some kind of, like, folded up underwears and bras that we could put on tables and all that, but we don't so you know this is what we've got so it's okay and then back here we have Ava's office is right here which put the wall up and I have just got some pretty fashion this is custom content that I got a while ago hang up hanging up and then over here we have more ooh, sorry about that and then we have more of that fashion stuff and that, but I really, really, really like it. So this is her office. Then over here we have a bathroom for the female. I had made for the female, and then over here is for the males. And I have, you know, the doors that go, oh, no, that's female, and this is male. But then that was when I, before I made this a female, all-female clothing store. So it's like, what males would come in here? Well, there might be some men come with their wives. You never know. So I just left it. And I'm going to eventually have employees, male employees. So I'm going to need a male bathroom. So, yeah. And I love this window, these window treatments, which is custom content. It just ties in so well with this wallpaper and the flooring. I just love how it really came out with the browns and dans, the beige. It just seems so calming and sophisticated to me. I really, really, really like it. And then I made this little area. <laughs> I had forgotten that you, if you want to keep your employees on the lot you and for eight hours, they're going to need to eat. If they don't eat, they'll go home. If they, they'll get grumpy and then they'll go home. And so um, I put in a quick refrigerator and microwave so they can at least warm something up and then one table and chair. I don't even know if they'll be able to use this, but we'll see. So then I, after I did that, I set all the prices on everything. And then I went to hire my employee by clicking on the cash register. I'm sure you guys all know this if you've played Get to Work. You've, you've played this probably before. But when I went to go, you know, manage employees, oh, she's got to be un paused and I just have to show you this is just funny to me and so awesome at the same time so I clicked on it to manage she but I was going through them and trying to I wanted somebody who had a good work ethic which is the muscle and a sales good experience in sales and so none of them really did until you get down to here this did in this one but then there's this one so Kate was down here. Caitlin, she's our aunt. So her, she had a great work ethic and great sales. So she's our first employee. And it's so fitting that our aunt would come help out with this, you know, business. So I think that was, I think it was pretty cool. So yeah, demote, you can demote them. Oh, I suppose if they don't do what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so that is her business. And we are actually going to, it is 10 a.m., so we are going to open this up and we are going to actually see how everything goes. So we will open the store, and I believe Kate will come right away. Is this Kate right here? Oh, yep, look at her. She's all confident and shit. Look at this. <laughs> She's walking. <laughs> that is not the outfit I picked out for her. What the hell? That is not it at all. Why is she wearing this? This isn't what I put for her. We're going to have her, let's see, assign work task. Answer customer questions, clean the store, race stock, ring up customers. She's going to ring up customers. Um, Ava will answer questions, I think. That's much better. <laughs> we'll need to go over here and talk to this customer here. So let us, let us greet the customer, first of all. Oh, isn't that nice? This is a guy here. He's, what? Oh, 
look, his bar is already full up. Like, it's really far. Ask about her price range. And we will, let's see, what else can you do? Retail. Answer questions. And we will discuss shopping pr pr preferences. So you want their bar to go up the highest it can be. Enthuse about store, suggest options. I think maybe she needs to be answer customer questions. Soon she's done talking to this lady. She needs some help, but there's a lot of people in here. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Maybe he's buying answer questions and maybe he's buying something for his wife, girlfriend. Ask about price range. He, she needs to ring this customer up before he leaves. That's a thumbs down, girl. You don't know what style here. These are beautiful lingerie pieces here. This girl is playing on the computer. What the hell? Are you serious? What are you doing? Now she's ready to buy because she played on the computer. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> He's got the new that clown hair on, I think, that you could get for that clown guy. Oh, what is his name? I can never remember. It's hilarious. There's more men in here than I had thought would be. <laughs> Suggest options. More. And we will discuss shopping purposes. Okay, quit chatting with that, with her. Wow, there is just a lot of people in here. It's probably because I did put out an advertising for lo on the long-term, I think it was a long-term um, television one ad. And that can bring in a lot of people. So we've sold two things out of all of these people. Since she went off by herself. Hold up. This lady is about to die in our store. What? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Oh, no, no, no. Why? Why? She's dying. Look at her. This person, the Sim, has just died in our store. That's bad for business, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. The first day the store is open and somebody dies. <laughs> Look at Kate. Oh, my God. She's like, <gasps> oh, my God. This lady just dropped dead. What? No. Oh my gosh. What choice, what value? I'm ready to buy when you are. Okay, we're going to ring this customer up. Actually, let's make her ring up the ring up customers. Come on now. Look at them all. Everybody's crying. Kate's probably not going to ring her up. I'm just going to have to. She's Ava's going to have to do it. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this. What the hell? <laughs> oh, everybody's crying. Here's Ava just ringing this lady up. Like... <laughs> Oh my god, this is horrible. Uh, <laughs> what is wrong with this lady back here? I 
I think we need to get rid of that pronto. And so I think I'm going to close the store because for one, well, she's got to go to the bathroom. She needs to go to the potty. So we'll have her go. And then we will close the store. I think she's been here for eight hours. Um, allowed to clock out early. Promote to senior sales associate. No, we don't want to do that. But okay, we will go ahead and close the store. Uh, oh, here it is. Kate made 217 and total wages. Two. So we had a net profit of 437 simoleons. We sold three things. And then we were open for nine hours. We probably open earlier, you know, from now on. Yeah, I think that's what we will probably do. Everybody leaves. Can we, like, yeah, release to the spirit to the netherworld? I don't want her haunting this place. Okay, so now we will have her go home. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to have Ava come in here. Oh, let's pause that for a second. We're going to come in here and she can get some dinner. And then she can go to bed. Go to sleep. How are these two doing? She needs to go to the bathroom. And so we'll have her come here and use that. And he needs to go to the bathroom and eat, but we'll have him use that. And he can eat this. There we go. So it looks like we're going to be with this house for a little while longer. <laughs> till we get some more simoleons going here because yeah I didn't think it was going to take that long but I really I actually put more into it than I had intended it to like I made it a little bit bigger than I had was going to and um, I decorated it a lot more with a lot more pricier stuff than I had intended to so that's why it cost me, probably cost, yeah, 50,000 simoleons all told, because I had like 56, I think, simoleons, 56,000, and then I kept transferring, so it was over 50,000 simoleons that I put into that, opening that business, but with Kira, Kira here, she's got a few more days. Oh, she's getting closer. <laughs> oh my gosh, that like seemed like it was a huge gap there before, but now it's not. I think that is it. Yeah. I think that's it for her. And then I'm going to have her come up here and go to bed. Whoop. She's playful. And, well we'll keep letting him play a little bit. I think I'm actually going to have him go to bed because he's going to get all screwed up on his sleeping. Okay, so Ava is all done. She's, you know, all went to the bathroom and still dressed and showered, all of that. So we are going to head to our store. Just us. So we are going to open store and come on in here. I really, really like it. It's just, I really like it. So I wanted to see, oh, how much in hour she is making because we might want to give her a raise oh 31 an hour and she's satisfied satisfied so she doesn't need a raise um, she's happy with her job so that's good 
what's this? Oh, fire, promote or demote. So she's good to go, $31 an hour. And here she comes. So early in the morning. And we are going to, I guess I have to click on her when she gets in here. So we will assign work task. She can answer customer questions to start. Look at these people. Oh my gosh, right off the bat, like crap load. And he, you know, I wondered this. I think this carried over from the day before because his bar was up like that. So I'm wondering if it doesn't carry over from the day before. She's cleaning. Why is she cleaning? No, you're going to answer customer questions. Who is this guy anyway? Caleb Flig, young adult. Hmm. You know, this might be a good way for her to find guys to date. <laughs> it's a good. Um, we will uh, ask about price range. Or she's too busy talking to this guy. Girl, I mean. Oh, she's tense. She needs some romance. Come on, Kate. Um, you better not piss in my store, buddy. Why isn't she bringing this person up? Oh, she just <laughs> left. Okay. Go over here. She's going to have to start ringing people up. Sign. Oh, she is supposed to. Hey, this guy's back. He just, he decided he liked our store so much. We should just flirt with him. What choice? Ring me up. Come on. Shoot. We have missed it. Damn it. <laughs> Kate, you're slacking off on your job. I want to manage Kate. We've just lost a customer. Almost Corey's time. Make the most of his final days. What? Why is she not ringing them up? She's not already doing it. She's doing nothing. Ah! Carolyn's life is coming to an end. This would be good. Oh, that means in the next one one day or two days, sim days. Hey, boss, you kept me working into overtime on this shift. I need to head home in compliance with the Fair Act. <laughs> okay, fine. And we will close, I think, after the sale, maybe. Okay, so I think it is 8.30. We're going to go ahead and close this store. So this day we sold 10 items making 2,394 simoleons, and we paid Kate 372, which is a little bit more. I didn't mean to work for 12 hours. I was only going to have her do eight or nine, but total wages of 372. So, okay, so we have a net profit of 2,022 simoleons for this day. So that is really good, I think. That's better than any job that you could get that she would make in one day. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and end this part here. It's a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but I am having just such a fun time doing this business. This is just totally awesome. I really, really like it and um, Ava. But unfortunately, um, Kira and Corey are both, their days are coming to an end. Let's, let's see here for a second that Corey has, well, he, he has lived 76 days. Maybe he'll still have a while. But hers is now when it gets, it looks like little teardrops, raindrops or whatever is animated there. She's going to go very soon. So, yeah. 
she will probably end up going in the next part. And we end up 365 perks. We actually could get an additional employee, but I think we'll wait a little bit more and we'll bring up these customers so we can ring them up very fast. Yeah, I think that's what we will do. So that is it for this part, and I thank you guys all for watching, and if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you next time.